Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions and issues regarding SQL Server and Azure. So in today's episode, I want to address the question that you'll see basically all over the place, which is the SQL logins versus database usernames and what is the difference between those two. So let me just jump straight into the little drawing area in here. So the visual part will be very, with the visual part, it will be way easier to explain. So let's assume that this in here represents your SQL server. It shouldn't be an uh, ellipsis. Hold on a sec. Here you go. What's going on in here? I want to draw a proper rectangle. Here we go. All right. So this is my SQL server, all right? So this is my SQL server instance, okay? I don't care whether it's SQL server 2005 or SQL server 2022. This is my instance. Now, when you want to log in to that SQL server, that's what you need to do. You need to log in, right? Using your login, right? Now, again, we did explain the difference between the authentication authorization in the different uh, in the different clip on this YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and go through all of those videos that YouTube will recommend to you uh, on this channel if that's something that you really need to explore. So you're logging in, right? So there is a user boom, who needs to log into the server. Now, within that same SQL server instance, you have a database, right? And in that database, user is being identified by their username. So we have the database user in here. Now, the reason why we have those two different levels that the user logs in using their credentials and then they are being mapped to the user in that particular database is very simple because on one SQL Server instance, you can have multiple different databases, right? And we definitely don't want to have the situation where one user once logged in, when they need the particular set of credentials in this database, they'll have those same permissions across the entire uh, SQL Server instance. So they'll have the same permissions in every single other database, right? Right? So the user, the single person can have multiple different usernames or users in the same boom mapped to the same credential, mapped to the same login. And this way we're achieving the situation when in each and every one of those databases, they can have a different set of permissions. All right. Now, this is just a high level overview. Let me just show you how to create those logins and how to create those usernames and how to check whether you're logged in as this or the other user. Let me then at the very end show you how to impersonate other users in your SQL Server instance. So how, you, how can you switch the context of the user that is uh, executing particular piece of code. But since this is a two minute SQL series, we're done for today. Go ahead, subscribe to this channel and go through the rest of those videos because all of those subjects are being covered in a separate little clips on this YouTube channel. So thank you. This is SQL Bootcamp and I'll see you on the other side.